Hare Krishna. Pranams. Paramananda Prabhu. Dandavas Paneshwari Namastas. Divya, Divya Shakti connecting to audio. Yes, she's coming. She's coming. Just remembered her last night. I was with Shuleka Didi. She's she she is on the way back to Salt Lake City as we speak. Here. Yeah. And Rupanoga also. Govinda, Govinda, Gopala, Gopala. You knew what I said, even if the microphone yes. was off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Good to see you all. And yes, Paraman Andrew, I just got your message and read your message. Please excuse. I shall give you a call after the, after the gathering. And to everybody, my Dandabad Pranam, to those who are with us, or more are joining us too. Let us begin with Vandeham, Omagyana, Vanchakaupa, and Namo Mahavaranyaya. Yes, Sudaram Prabhu, very welcome. Vandeham, Sri Guru, Sri Yuta Padakamalam, Sri Guru Vaishnavamischa, Sri Rupam Sagrajatam, Sahagana Raghunatan, Vitang Tang Sajivam. Sadvaitam, Savarutam, Parijana Sahitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Sri Radha Krishna Param, Sahagana Lalita, Sri Vishakan Vitam Vishcham. Then we do Om Ajnana first. Om Ajnana Timarandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshur Anmiritam Jena, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Bancha kaupa trubias cha, kripa sindhu via eva cha, patitanam pavanevio, vaishnavevio namo namaha. Namo maha varanyaya, Krishna prema parayate, Krishnaya, Krishna chaitanya name gauratvije namaha. Shri Krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda, Shri adwaita garadhara, Shri vasadi, Shri gauravatta vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. All dear devotees, Jeevana Devirasi, Divya Shakti Devirasi, Jaya Devu, Priyanana Devirasi, Seva Rupa Devirasi, Tungarasa Devi, Udharam Prabhu, Parunantu, Leela Moi Prabhu, middle of the night in Brazil, Rupa Nuga, middle of the day in Australia, and Paneshwari. Oh, daytime in Nabadi, beside Tulsi Devi with the beautiful lotus leaves. I don't see any lotuses there, but lotus leaves. Each of you, my obeisances, welcome. And I am here to serve. Please give me some service. Maharaj, this serva that uh, you have is to nourish our hearts with your Krishna Kata. We come here just like thirsty to get your Krishna Kata. Well, you know where there is the best presentation of Krishna and Krishna Kata. That's the books and the lectures of Gurudev and Guru Maharaj. And of course, Srila Prabhupada. 
but I am here and can, I do not know, I can share something about Gurudev and our practical life of devotional service. I can share something about Guru Maharaj and our practical life of devotional service. But I can say from a personal reflection, then it, I don't know whether it's everybody is considering in this way, but certainly myself, myself and I know others, because we've been sharing some thoughts together, sharing why we came to Krishna consciousness and what we expected in Krishna consciousness and what is in Krishna consciousness. So this is also a bigger picture of the day by day looking at ourselves and how did we do today? Was I a good boy? Was I a bad boy? Was I a good girl? Was I a bad girl? Whatever may be our situation in the world. But the bigger picture is what we expected from Krishna consciousness, what drew us and to assess where we are in our life in that path that we can have some hope in Krishna consciousness. And with this reflection, definitely very much at the center is Srila Prabhupada, very much at the center is Srila Guru Maharaj, and very much at the center is Srila Guru Dev. So we always expected each of them to be with us forever. And it is just not within our thought that any of them will pass away. way and Maharaj. first of all Srila Prabhupada we came by Srila Prabhupada's books and came to Srila Prabhupada and found he had passed away that's yes Praneshwari yes Praneshwari your your screen is freezing at times and your sound is cracking but it came right back now oh, yeah. you're okay now you're okay image is okay and sound is okay we okay. lost you for a moment. Can you hear us? Krishna Priya is here offering obeisances, Maharaj. Can option. you hear us? And, but I've come to where I've got the best. Who? Oh, Krishna Priya was on the screen just to offer obeisances. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear. Oh dear. I can try one other option. I see it is bad. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Where are you now, Maharaj? So can you hear me? Perfectly, Maharaj. Well, I don't have a second option. I just proved it, I'm afraid. Um, just give me one second.
So please continue, Praneshri, somehow without me. Yes. For, for, just for a couple of minutes, I need to secure the phone in a place where it's getting... Perfect, sent. Maharaj. Yes, yes. So I okay. want to invite for a beautiful Divya Shakti because I saw her for five seconds and then she disappeared. Divya Shakti, please, grace us. I don't know where she is now. I don't know whether she's in Salt Lake or in California. Dandava Pranam. How are you, Divya Shakti? How are you? Divya, Divya, the, the red microphone. You're muted, Divya Shakti, you're muted. We, we see the nectar, but we can't hear it. We can't hear you, Divya, still. You need to find where to unmute. There's a maybe a little microphone picture at the bottom of your screen. Oh dear. Because she gets a little bit nervous. <laughs> but it's okay, Divya, it's okay. You just find the microphone. There is an icon with a microphone and a camera. So you touch the microphone, but only once. Touch the microphone only once. Hi. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it's we nice love you, Divya Shakti. You. Welcome. Nice to see everyone. <laughs> anyway, it's so enlivening to. Ah, hear about the devotees and just to think about how kind Gurudev is. That's all. i am been trying to meditate on him because his Vyasa Puja is coming up and all glories to all of you and my Dandavats to all the devotees that are present here. And uh, um, <laughs> what should be, what did you say, Priyananda? What is your question? <laughs> Maharaj, in the chat, you have uh, two questions from Priyanana. Anyway. Okay. Um, well, let's hear from Dibya Shakti. Dibya Shakti. We'll hear, we'll hear from Dibya Shakti, and then yes. I'll uh, ask, I'll an, answer the question to some extent. I have extent. to offer. I'm just trying to learn how to serve all of you and... Um, I'm just inspired by all the service that's going around the world with all of you preaching and like you, Maharaj and Vishaka and, you know, Jayadev and, you know, Leela Moy has taken up some sweet responsibility when you guys were absent and just really, really beautiful devotees just um, stepping up to the, you know, to the bat. They really know how to catch the ball when the ball is coming to them. They're very good players in Krishna consciousness, and uh, I just really uh, am aspiring to be like these devotees that are so surrendered, and uh, I'm kind of just sitting back. I feel like I'm I'm kind of getting older, and I'm kind of slacking off, and <laughs> so I'm just trying to hold on to all of you, and um, think of Gurudev, and uh, try to, and, you know, try to remember him in the different circumstances that come up in our lives because he is so kind, you know, and um, his kindness is just inconceivable. So as I sit here and look at his pictures, I'm just very grateful for all the things that he's given us all over the years and the mots, the instructions, the affectionate guidance, divine guidance, all his books that he has printed and the instructions that he's given. 
it's really amazing. So um, I'm trying to go over some of the books I um, like Divine Guidance. So I was just reading that a little bit. And um, I would just say to everybody, try to read his books. And um, I don't know, Guru Maharaj was very merciful to us to give us Shiva. Shila Govinda Maharaj and, and, and Gurudev. And so, and Guru, Guru Maharaj always says, he is more than me, you know? So um, it's progressive, you know? Krishna consciousness is progressive. It's not stagnant. So I think that we should, you know, search deep within our hearts and try to understand what, what Gurudev has given in his books the, uh, that he has um, printed like, you know, Reveal Truth and Divine Guidance, Divine Servitor, Affectionate Guidance, all these books, if we can, you know, try to take shelter in them and, and go through them and try to, um, you know, remember his uh, instructions. And it's hard. It's not, it's not that, it's not that, um, it's not that hard, but um, through the association of devotees like all of you and you, Shila Madhusudan Maharaj, we can always hold on to the proper conception of, of Krishna consciousness. And that's important because there's so many different conceptions going around sometimes within our own mission. So we need to really try to hold on, you know, like Gurudev said, he said, I trust everybody, you know, and I have that, I don't know, if you want to call it divine naivety or whatever, but um, I think we all have that because we all have we all have our um, we all have our faith, you know. And maybe you could speak a little bit about that, Maharaj. How Gurudev always trusted everyone, you know, and. You know, that quality is very beautiful and very sweet, you know? Can you say something about that? Can you, please? I, I, can, I can try. Yes, I can hear you. And I, I also I'm, agree. I'm not a very good speaker because I'm uh, a little bit lackadaisical. But I'm trying to hold on to whatever little sadhana that I can practice in my spiritual life. So please forgive my association. I'm trying to hold on to all of you and get inspiration in our in my spiritual life. So that's what I can offer tonight. Tonight, okay. this morning, today. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Yes, Divya Shakti. And I agree with you. So many treasures are revealing themselves again and again in those books of Srila Gurudev, as well as, of course, the books of Srila Guru Maharaj. And also the Benedictine Tree, the Divine Guidance, these books also, they're, they're full of divine guidance, affectionate guidance, and full of benedictine tree of divine, benedictine tree of divine aspiration is the full title. And mm -hmm. that is Srila Gurudev's translation of Kalpa Vriksha. Mm -hmm. And that's his, his own evolved translation. He's day by day saying, what is the meaning of Kalpa Vriksha? And then discussing with us, and then he's developing the idea, and then like the fullest idea that, that Gurudev happily was satisfied to come up with, with after various versions was Benedictine tree of divine aspiration. And so he gave the title for that book, which came out just a year. Uh, sorry, the first after the first world tour so it came out just after that world tour and it's definitely got so many treasures in there and it's one of these books that sometimes devotees they read once back in when when was it 1993 which happens to be 
almost 30 years ago, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 1993, 30 years ago, it's 2023 in a few days' time, as we know. So Srila Gurudev, he gave so many treasures, so many things, and to take shelter in the books, to take shelter in his talks, always very necessary. But you wanted me to talk about having faith in others, trusting others. And yes, Srila Gurudev, he gave us that, that window to our home. He gave us a like, practical window to our home and by his example. And at home, the land of home comfort, everyone is trusting everyone. There is no question of suspicion. There's no question of exploitation. It's a very sweet plane. And so Gurudev come, is coming from that plane. His nature was that. But in one sense, Srila Gurudev did not belong in this world because unfortunately in this world, some people did betray him. And Gurudev you know, told, I'm not talking about the very last like history, the last pastimes with Gurudev in the world, but Gurudev telling about others uh, from um, the early days when we were with him and after giving so many examples of, of after Guru Maharaj passed away, then Gurudev was, you know, you can say, well, he was betrayed. But Gurudev, he put trust in some and then Gurudev was heartbroken. In fact, after Guru Maharaj's disappearance and things that happened, he was heartbroken because people he'd put in tr trust in then, then turned around and found, well, weren't trustworthy after all. So, so how can we not be suspicious of others and, 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 and things like that? Because I heard that Gurudev didn't can you hear me, Didi? Yes, well, yes, we can hear you. Yes. Oh, see, other can I can hear you. I think there's a delay, but yes. Yeah, there is a delay. Because I heard that Gurudev said that he will not try to correct other people. But the Lord in the heart, the super soul in the heart, will reveal the right thing for the person to do, not to try to change. You know, I'm, of course, we know this. You know, we should try to change ourselves, not try to change the environment or someone else, but try to change ourselves. But, um, you know, how do we go on tolerating something that we might feel within our heart? might not be correct but at the same time i guess through affection because everything will happen through affection is that right maraj everything will happen through affection hmm i'm not sure that that's a universal statement <laughs> everything will happen by the will of the lord and we have seen I mean, in one sense, yes, it is through affection that we will be brought to our home. So through affection, then everything will get corrected. But, I guess in sincerity. But we need some direct instruction sometimes. And Gurudev did give instruction. It's not that Gurudev ne never gave instruction. He left everything to Krishna. It is not the case. He gave guidance and he gave so much guidance. And when he was talking, then devotees who were listening, they could understand the message for them. And also we have devotees who know when they are being chastised within a public gathering, not by name, but Gurudev is addressing them after just what has happened a few minutes ago. And then Gurudev is giving a talk. Gurudev is definitely giving guidance and that guidance is all correction. What is guidance for? To keep us on, to keep us on a path. But I know your, your quote, I mean, what you're referring to is how Guru Maharaj, uh, sorry, Gurudev saying that if, 
that he fe feels that if the person, if the devotee is sincere, then Krishna will correct them from within the heart. Sometimes you say cleanse them from inside. That Krishna will do that. But also Gurudev as the external guru, then he definitely was giving some chastisement and not chast we are thinking chastisement is like an army thing, but giving course correction. And Dibya, don't tell me you were never given some chastisement by Gurudev. I was. <laughs> okay, me too. <laughs> so I'm a little bit under the weather. I've been home all day and I haven't been a hundred percent. I have a little bit of a head cold, so please forgive me. I'm a little bit out of it, but I'm at least I'm here with all of you. You are indeed. And no face mask, no nothing at all. Just see. Now we're on, we're on the Zoom. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Anyhow, trust. I don't. I don't know whether my voice has broken up too much, but. Oh, I, I was trying I was trying to express how Gurudev was the example that he will trust everyone because that's the nature of our home. That's the nature of his home. And then in this world, then sometimes we will we will lose, if you like, but Gurudev definitely saying that that as an overall, then he's gaining by giving trust to everyone and saying how what a poor life it is when we must be suspicious of everyone. The opposite of trusting everyone is to be suspicious of everyone. And then there's a middle path, which of course, Gurudev more, more and more adapted to, you know, to be awake and I mean, he's always awake, but to be alert that there may be some some difficulty with with uh, some person why they've come to the temple to the Krishna consciousness etc. Apparently come to Krishna consciousness, but anyhow, we must trust others. It is proper etiquette, and not to distrust. Otherwise, we'll be looking at ourselves, thinking, "Oh, we are perfect," and then not going to look anywhere else to think, oh, there is somebody who can give me some help, some guidance. We need to be able to have trust in the devotees. And we do have, we have got trust in so many devotees who are expressing what they feel is right. And we may not agree, but it's also within our feeling, we may not agree with everything, but devotees, they are expressing what they feel is right. And this way, we are also trusting that, yes, they're expressing that. Hare Krishna. And in the meantime, welcome to Dana, to Suresh Krishna, to Krishna Kanta, to no, KKDD, <laughs> not our <laughs> Krishna Kanta, Abhinavasundra and Kelly Kalamba, David Asi. And maybe a third person in the car, but you are about one centimeter tall on my screen. See if you can see. That's not a third person behind you. No. Just a, it's a, a dummy head like they do in, in California. They sometimes put a blow up dummy doll in the car so that they can go in the priority lane. Some lane where they, they say car sharing. You can use this lane. And car sharing means as a driver and one other person. It doesn't even mean like a full car. That's definition of car sharing in the States. We're traveling back from Sydney, Maharaj, after flying back from Thailand. Oh, Hare Freud. Krishna. Good to see you in your car. And just a quick look to see who else came. Somebody that he turned up to. Yes, Abhinavasundra Prabhu, you spoke. Oh, Microphone. Maharaj, maybe, maybe he's not very good here. I think it's my internet that's not very good, but you wanted to say something. You said something. No, 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 no. no. I'm just saying, Maharaj, that we've 
we're traveling back from Sydney after arriving from Thailand. That's why we're in the car. That's why we're in the car. In, in sunny Australia on a hot winter's, hot summer's day, as you can tell. Wet. <laughs> oh, wrapped up. <laughs> summer's day and winter's day in Australia can be quite similar. I had that experience. Hare Krishna, don't be fooled by... Yes, so let us come then to Priyanana's question. Dandabat's dear all, dear all. Maharaj, I have two questions. What should be our attitude towards sickness and accidents? We remember Sri the Gurudev said that Maya attacks more those who tries to escape from her. Obviously not my case. Then what's our lesson? Well, you've just given us a, a lesson, an example, exemplary lesson in humility. So we appreciate your humility lesson by expressing in that way. So by your expression that you think that Maya is attacking those who are trying to escape from her, then when we get sickness and accidents to ourselves, then we shall have the attitude that I deserve much more, but this has come to me and it has come to me to teach me that this material world is a place of misery. And we all know when we have an accident, then with an accident, suddenly you, something happens, like in a moment, something happens. Slip, fall, this, that, and the other, falling on the stairs, many things. And the other day, I almost fell on the stairs. It was one step was a, it was a little different than the other steps and almost fell. And you think, oh, what would it be if I slip and fall here? So in one moment, something can change with an accident. But we need to be aware that every moment needs to be carefully used. And when we have good health, we need to use that good health properly. So accidents are one thing. And sickness is another thing because sickness generally implies that we feel sick. You know, that then our thinking is not going clearly, our enthusiasm is down, our like everything just falls apart from, from our consciousness level. Whereas, you know, a broken arm or something, okay, you've got pain and all those things, but it's not quite the same as, you know, having fever and, you know, being, is it compost non mentis, whatever the Latin is. Sorry, I'm not in Italy. I don't have any Latin persons around me to, to ask. I think it's, Anyway, when you have fever and all those things, you're just not yourself. And so I forget who it is who prayed. Oh, Dibia, I think you need to turn off your... Oh, got it, yeah. Got it. So um, I, I forget just now who it was who prayed. While my mind is fixed on you, dear Lord, on your lotus feet, while my consciousness is clear, while I'm here now please take me away from this world now because i don't know what i'll be thinking when my throat is all choked up i have fever it's told that in by Srila Prabhupada in his purports that normally I, uh, before dying there's a great fever and then a great cold and that great cold is the time of leaving the body Kula so, Shekhar Maharaj it was Kula Shekhar Maharaj. That name was on my tip of my tongue, but I didn't want to say without confirmation. Thank you, Paramahansa. So this is a prayer of Kula Shekhar. While my mind is clear and I'm all here at your lotus feet, please take me now while I'm able to focus upon you. I don't know what I'll be thinking. When I've got fever, my mucus comes to block my airways, and then all this transition that comes at the time of death. I cannot say what I'll be thinking at that time. So sickness also comes to help us to appreciate our 
healthness. So when we, again we've got some recovery and we're back and left the fever, left the whatever is so many, you know, meningitis, this gitis, this fever, that fever, so many sicknesses. And if you read the okay. the book about medicine, <laughs> you see the almost unlimited sickness that can strike one. So, but when we leave us off again, so dear when Maharaj, message, dear Maharaj, the sound was message, going for a company. moment. It's there. I know. The moment. I, I have my bad. Yeah, you yeah, mentioned you mentioned a book, and then we lost you a little bit. That book is the uh, the compendium of all, like diseases. I don't know. I don't recall the name of the book. Medicus something. But in there you. It's okay. You're back. On the Macintosh, Macintosh computers in the 1990s, the 1990s, the last millennium, there used to be an error signal would come up there. It is not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. Anyway, my I should have an error message on the front of me. It is not my fault. We love it, to get your association. It's okay if it cracks a little bit. It's okay. Anyway, when so when sickness or accident happen to ourselves, it's a we must take it for ourselves. It is a lesson for us, and we've done bad things in the past, and some reaction must come. And and I'm getting a token reaction in order that I can reset myself, be very convinced in Krishna consciousness. But when sickness and injury happen to others, we must give some assistance, we must give not some assistance, we must give assistance and try to give relief. And especially when this is for Vaishnavas, then it is our opportunity to serve the Vaishnavas. And so when we see uh, some accident or disease in the Vaishnavas, then we want to help them and serve them and take that, uh, that opportunity. And what they will think, that is their matter. But what we will think, we will think, oh, it couldn't have happened to a better person. They are a devotee. And now we have some savor to do to try to get them back into good health. And I think there's a second part Priyananda's question. Yes, uh, if the Lord speaks to us through the situations and through people we meet, then how to read that? Because it seems I'm not very good at it. Uh -huh. Should we try to do it? How to do that? Yes, we should try to read. Why has something happened to us? Why is somebody, why have I been allowed to hear such and such a thing? And I honestly try to avoid all news, gossip, headlines about the devotees as well. We don't want to know what devotees are up to. We want to know the devotional side of what they're up to. And but still, we don't try to read the news. We don't try to read about war and epidemic and, you know, all the things that everyone gets addicted to. But still, some things come through and we hear something in conversation. And we think, why are we being allowed to hear these things, even when we don't want to hear them? 
So whether it's about mundane things or whether it's about devotees, we have to try to coat ourselves in oil, not engine oil, but whatever oil it is that swans have in their feathers, so that all this stuff will just leave us and not, not touch us and we won't stay almost damaged by some of the things we hear. Damage means we know it can take some time to, when we hear something shocking, to when, what is the definition of shocking? If we actually hear something shocking, which sometimes happens, then it takes a little, some time for that to heal over. So, unfortunately, a lot of the world likes to be shocked. They like horror movies. And I, before being a devotee, a long time before, then I had a neighbor, a couple, and they would go and watch horror movies, and they'd come back and they'd say how wonderful the movie was. But somehow, the horrors of this world, that's what the news is. And that, unfortunately, spills over into the devotional side. So, when we hear something, when something happens to us, we must try to think why we are trying to follow Rupa Goswami's advice to avoid listening, talking, involving in any mundane act activities, avoid uh, listening or hearing anything bad about devotees, all these things. We try to avoid all of this, but still when something will come through, we must think, why am I allowed to hear this? And Gurudev, he was the example of this. Hare Krishna. But we have some conscious, we can make some conscious decisions. And we want to try to only hear good things. So when we meet good people and we hear good things, well, we can think Krishna is definitely giving us a bit of good advice through the devotees. Good association. If you can hear us, be Priyana. practical in the world. Hare Krishna, Ananda Sarupini, welcome. Krishna, Krishna Drani, welcome. Ganga Leela Devidasi, welcome. Ashapuna Devidasi, welcome. Tandavat. Hare Krishna. Are you speaking? Is somebody speaking? No, they were offering obeisances, Maharaj. And in the chat, there is a, a there are two comments from Priyanana and Paramananda Prabhu. Priyanana is saying such a beautiful <laughs> expression, swan minded. And Paramananda Hare Prabhu Krishna. is giving us the translation, Manasa Raja Hamsa. We should be. It's what we should be, and why not? Why have we got to stick to the world as cats and dogs and birds and also and human with this connection? It mud. And actually, when we when we saw now, if it is any better, but uh, it was on the theme of reflection, you know, reflecting of why we came, what we came for, what we expected, and where we are, and how to go forwards with with not a diluted intention, but with a clear intention. Because we're not in a game, we're not in a, you know, we're pre pretending or something, or an escape from reality. We're actually 
on the path to reality and really on, on the path to reality. And others may be skeptical. We meet, unfortunately, we do meet people who are skeptical. <laughs> but we are amongst friends who are not skeptical. We've already somehow were planted in our heart the faith, and with good reason, the faith in Guru Marsh, Guru Dev, and Srila Prabhupada, the faith in Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sanasati Thakur, and what they have given for our life, it is so valuable. And so we, it's no longer a time for, I'm not sure it ever was, but a time for uh, like just making every, everybody happy, appeasing everybody. We need to be clear and straight and say, well, if you want the best, come in this way. Otherwise, good is to do this, good is to do that. But we ourselves must try to do that best rather than just the good, because good will be good, but best will be best. So as much as we can capture that great gift, which most of us, I would like to think, came for, that gift of Goloka Vrindavan, love of God, the proper use of our life, then we should try to keep cleanly and purely that target in our mind. Not to dilute, not to mix. So many are diluting and mixing. Why do we have to dilute and mix? We can try to say the right thing. Hare Krishna. Am I talking only to myself or the, is the life no, on the other side? No, we can hear you. We oh, can you can, hear okay. You. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Jeevan Asi, I see you here with us. Give me proof that there is life on the other side of my screen. There's so much life seeing all these wonderful devotees, like Divya Shakti said. It's just amazing every week when we come here and we get to see everybody here. And uh, that gives us so much life and hope and happiness. And Divya Shakti, she's so funny because she says how she doesn't speak well. Oh, that is like such the funniest thing ever. <laughs> she's a great humorist. Anyway, she speaks beautifully and, and um, actually... Divya Shakti is such a beautiful person. I'm actually intimidated by Divya Shakti because her ability to do service is completely overwhelming, way over the top, terrifying. Die in a string of days. Anyway, it's really nice to see everybody on, on, online. I know that everybody has such a beautiful service attitude and to come every week is is just um the most enlivening thing and uh Divya shakti said something similar too but i always feel when i'm here i just feel like kind of mortified and very ashamed of myself having been around for ever, for as long as i have which is really only a, a drop of it's just a drop in the you know bucket it's you know of course less than a mustard seed which is a whole universe so you never know how much other people have gotten from whatever association they have. And you can tell that it's there in their hearts. It's really, that is so encouraging. So that's just uh, what I wanted to say. And I also, I noticed when uh, Maharaj, when we first signed on and you were repeating everybody's names, it's like hearing something so beautiful, it's like hearing the Chaitanya chapter read to all the different names of the devotees on this call. And that was super, super enlivening to hear. Can you hear us now, Maharaj? I understand my internet is bad because Jeevana, who's in Silicon Valley, I know her internet is good, but it did break up quite a lot. So anyhow, 
Where are you, Maharaj? I'm right. here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you where I am. There. Any the you can yeah. my Any... internet stopped, right? Yeah, it's just coming and going. Oh dear. <laughs> Sometimes it sounds we like saw the balcony bottom. though. We saw your balcony. We did see it. But what what did you see? Did you see back underwater? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, now my internet is turning to Thailand. By the by, sorry, my internet really is bad now for hearing you all. No. Maharaj. Now, now you're okay, Maharaj. It just comes and goes, but now you're okay. I am in Malaysia and I'm returning tomorrow to Thailand. So oh, after great. That, okay. I should be back on better internet. We are yeah. having a bit of a struggle with the internet here. No problem, Maharaj. No problem. Yes, some problem. Hare Krishna. Govinda, Govinda. Yes, please, a contributor, because my internet is not helping my contribution. And Paramananda, we can say, definitely can be a contributor on the theme on Priyanana's theme, on our theme, Dibhi Shakti's theme, Jeevana's theme. Did Parvananda oh, disappear? Gosh. No, he's here. I'm, I'm still here, oh, but can you hear move. me? I can, but you, your internet is no doubt good. If I can't hear you, please all carry on. We'll catch up later. Anyhow, I just observed the competition of humility between the devotees. So the torch was lit by Priyanana, then passed on to Divya Shakti, then passed on to Jivana. And well, I am no one to compete with such personalities, so I will not even try. So let torch stay with Jivana. <laughs> and besides, whatever we have to say is certainly not our property in any case. I'm not dealing with my own capital. I am borrowing, I'm an eternal debt. And I don't know where I can repay if ever that debt. So if we know something, if we're you know, eager or want to share something, it's certainly not coming from us, but coming through us in order to serve the devotees or reveal something, so reveal truth. Taking shelter of Srila Govinda Maharaj, then we can hear reveal truth, more or less. And on Priyanana's question, um, the trust from the Vaishnavas. From, I mean, there's many, many angles um, we can take on that subject, but also from ontological point of view, again, considering what is the position of such Vaishnavas. Let's say we speak about Srila Govinda Maharaj or Srila Guru Maharaj. They're the residents of the upper world. They're descended here. So naturally, they're seeing everything in the whole creation, mundane creation, serving a purpose of Lila. Like yesterday, uh, we spent some time with Shulek Kadidi, and you know how Shulek Kadidi is. She's always a source of infinite inspiration, just 
overflows from her. So we're discussing uh, Gopal Kumar's journey to Vaikuntha planet. Really, it's a, it's a fascinating part of Brihad Bhagavatam Ritam. And then I remembered that in early Iskon Shimad Bhagavatam, the covers were made depicting uh, Vaikuntha in different planets. And there are little like figures of Vishnu on each planet saying Keshava, Govinda, Narasimha, Narayana, Pradyumna, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But all of them looked alike, like Vishnu, just different you know, items in the hands, but looking like Vishnu, four-armed form of Vishnu, very beautiful, luxurious for form. And then we have Bhagavatamritam, Sanatana Goswami points out that in every planet, Lord, Lord takes the form for his lila. He takes the form of every living entity. And a certain planet is actually uh, where he is a presiding deity in that particular form. And then I ask, uh, what do you think about it, Shri Have you heard anything? He said, yes, I heard from Guru Maharaj. Someone asked that question of Guru Maharaj and probably inspired by the same picture of early Prabhupada's uh, Bhagavatam covers. He said, how does Lord Narasimha looks in Vaikuntas? And Srila Guru Maharaj was a little bit perplexed by the question. He even asked again, what is the question? And then he said, Lord Narasimha is Lord Narasimha. He always looks like Lord, Lord Narasimha, half lion, like half man. He's Vaikuntha. That means all the inhabitants of that planet looked like little Lord Narasimhas. Maybe four hands, maybe two hands. I do not know. I haven't seen him. But uh, coming to that point, uh, and when we discuss, and, and that person asks, and how about the Hiranyakashipu? Is he present there? Because he is the, he is the one of the main participants in Narasimha Halila. And Guru Maharaj explained that, yes, he is present in a certain form, like a picture on the wall, he said, like a little photograph or, or a painting. And it's like, Narasimha Dev is saying, yes, uh, here is my Leela. Look at the wall. And there's Hiranya Kashipu fighting Lord Narasimha Dev because there is no place for that particular um, manifestation of Lord Narasimha Leela in Vaikuntha. But it happens in a mundane world. So if you look from that perspective, what is the mundane world? Why is mundane world created? It's not just to punish, not like a big prison. This is not the reason. I mean, it's one of the you know, secondary or uh, minor reasons why it, is. it serves the purpose in that way. But really, the main reason, the whole material creation is created for the sake of Krishna Lila. There is no other reason for it to exist. It's for the Lila uh, uh, purpose, for the Lila necessity. So in that sense, when someone from the upper world descends here in, in full eagerness to take all the conditioned souls who are, as we know, and it is also stated in, the, in our scriptures, who, are, who already have that dreaming, dormant love for Krishna inside their hearts, to awaken that love. They naturally see everybody connected to that lila, connected to that service. So why not trusting? They see everything in a perfect harmony. They're seeing that uh, potential, every jiva soul, condition, niti bado, eternally fallen jiva soul, still there is that potential. So trust is always there from their side. The problem is from our side, there's a lot of contempt towards that trust and we're taking a big time for granted. So it's more a question how to not take uh, that trust for granted, not why they have that trust. Really, they do have, naturally they have that trust. They want us all be back. So how not to take that trust for granted? That's another question. How to treasure what is coming to us and really, the express way to leave this world and go and join Krishna and his eternal lila is through the service. And that is also coming through them, regardless of qualification. Mahaprabhu speaks about it. Devotees of Mahaprabhu speak about it. Raghunath Das Goswami, he prays. Yogya or Ayogya, qualified, not qualified, just accept me as I am. Because why? Why? Because Mahaprabhu recommended me to you. And we are in that... Uh, uh, time of Mahaprabhu, he is recommending everyone, regardless of qualification, no discrimination whatsoever. So it is coming to us. And about sicknesses and accidents, there is a beautiful verse, and Srila Madhusudha Maharaj quoted it by Kulashekara Maharaj. We say, Krishna Tadiya Padapankaja Panjarantam Ajayavami Vishatamana Saraja Hamsa. 
Prana prayana samaya kapavata pita kantava rodana vidho svaranam kudasti. So there is that word, Raja Hamsa. Manasa Raja Hamsa. He's saying, let my mind be just like the Raja Hamsa, the swan, the purest of the pure, able to extract the essence from everything. Let my mind become like that and let my mind to tangle at the lotus feet of the Lord that are like lotus stems. And when a you know, swan dives sometime in the pond, sometimes they tangle and they just leave their bodies tangled in the ponds uh, full of lotus stems. That's what I want. I want to be eternally residing at your lotus feet right now. And I always remember we, as a book distributors, we always like Nike shoes. Obvious reasons. I'm pretty sure everyone can answer why. Jivana Didi, can you? Is that the just do it? Exactly. Just, just, just do, do it. it. Just do it in many ways. Just do it before it's too late. And otherwise, you will be Kantava Rodhana. You will be choking on the bile and mucus. Kantava Rodhana Vidos Maranam How can I remember? How, what are the guarantees? At the moment of my death, what I will remember, may I even like pronounce your name? Is, is, will that be possible? There is no guarantee. So Maharaja Kula Shekhar, one of the greatest, one of the Alwars, the greatest Vaishnavas of South India, he's giving that very good advice. And then Srimad Bhagavatam, we're also here. Samasrita Yepada Pallava Plavam Mahat Padam Punyaya Somurari Bhavam Budhir Vatsapadam Param Padam 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 Yat Vipadam Natisham. It is Obvious, it's uh, Kaler Dosha, Kaler Dosha Nidhi, full of imperfections, ev danger in every step. Take shelter of Lord Murari, the killer of Demon Mura, or Krishna Govinda, any form of the Lord you like. There, all the dangers of this world, the oceans, unlimited oceans of the dangers of the world, will be just like a little bit of a water in a footprint of a cult. So that is the devotee's vision. So they're taking everything, shitoshna, sukha, dukkada, happiness, distress, equally. I always say, what if the world is going to break up now? What are devotees going to do? Chen Hare Krishna, uh, read the books, have prasadam. What if the world is flourishing? What are devotees going to do? Same thing, Chen Hare Krishna, take prasadam, have association with each other. No difference whatsoever. So. Dukkham, sukkham, happiness, distress, it doesn't really matter in that sense. Maharaj. Madhusudan Maharaj. Well, Maharaj is a little, little bit frozen. Prabhu, I heard some of your talk, not all of it, because... I have very bad karma today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm that was able, good, Maharaj. I'm not able to hear clean and pure from the devotees. My, I have interruption. Hare Krishna. But yes, and I very much like that point that you said, that if the world is going to break up and this, that, and the other. And I also thought a tsunami can come. If a tsunami can come at any moment, then... What are we going to do? We're going to chant Hare Krishna, hear something, read something. But when everything is going good, like heaven, then also what are we going to do? Chant Hare Krishna, read a book, be with the devotees. So very good point. And every circumstance will continue. And we've left our bodies hundreds of times, millions of times before. It will be so familiar. Don't worry about it. Worry instead about being on track and not being entangled in everything of this world. I really don't know how much you can hear of me because when I'm listening... No. Maraj, Maraj, perfect, perfect. Oh, well. Please go on. Well, no, I've, we've, come, we've come to the end, no doubt. But... Uh, Okay. It's 
says he recorded. All right. So to Asha, to all those pre and David Rasi, to you who contributed, and to each of you who are present, to all of you because you are contributing by your presence. My respects, obeisances, appreciation, gratitude, and lots of other things. To all of you, my <laughs> humble obeisances to your holy feet, and wishing you safe, successful days of savor until we meet again very soon. And I apologize on behalf of the internet. And I'm not sure you can hear me still. Bancha kalpa trubius cha kripa sindu bia eva jika cha Oh, all obeisances to him. But he said that he is flying back tomorrow. So we'll have a, we'll have the weekend a very good connection and we'll catch up with today's gaps. But it because was it wonderful Ma to see him. Maraj will have to speak double next time. <laughs> very good. To, very to good. catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Maraj, please let's let's talk. Let's talk shortly after that. But without the video, I think without the video we can connect well. Dandavats Maharaj, thank you so so much. Then he's gone. <laughs> no, he's still with us. He's still with us. Oh yeah. I mean, Very at least in the participants list. Where the camera is off. Anyhow, he's returning it's, tomorrow, so. Yes, it's, it's very special, very special to, to have this opportunity. Today is the first time that internet has failed like this, but that is just a reminder. Everything is is like that. We have had the great fortune of having so, so many programs in a row without failures. So today is just like a reminder. Hey, hey don't take it for granted. No, but it wasn't, exactly, the only it wasn't thing, exactly a failure. No, no, no. I mean, I'm talking about the, the internet service. But the thing is that even though the connection was uh, broken at times, we still got this beautiful, beautiful treasure that he has to give. And he's very humble. He says, no, it's the books, it's Guru Dev, it's Srila Guru Maharaj. And that is correct. That is the proper vision for him. But we have the fortune that we have him to connect us with those words in the books, with those experiences that he directly had with Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Govinda Maharaj. So we are fortunate, fortunate to have his association. Even yes. if the connection was broken for, for some time, he was still able to deliver substance, right? A, a All he needs is example. one sentence. All Maharaj needs is one sentence. I got everything yeah. from one sentence from him. Yes, yes, you like very much this one. And, and you're saying that quality is more important and not quantity. And you were, let me see, I'm scrolling back because he I was said copying. We need to coat ourselves in the oil that swans, swans have on their feathers. Have on their feathers. Like that's Paramahamsa, it. like that, that alone, that's everything right there. Coming from him, that's everything. And Paramananda, too, what you said was so, like, it was heart melting, always so heart melting. It's so wonderful. Anyhow, he's calling right now. I will offer my obeisances to the August <laughs> gathering in the words of Devashish Prabhu. August gathering of the devotees. He's a perfect British gentleman he, using he, perfect words. He is the swam <laughs> and we are the geese. So offer obeisances from his, his uh, group of geese. 
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dana Pranam. Bless you all. See you soon. Hare Krishna. Dava. Dava.